wiki.easyvid.com. Search EasyVid Wiki before you decide. EasyVid presents the 8 best NVMe external enclosures. Let's get started with the list. Starting off our list at number 8. Perfect for high-powered chips like the Samsung Evo 970. The Syntec M2U3 happens to be one of the least expensive options around. It accommodates any physical size of NGFF drive from 30 to 80 millimeters long and can push up to 10 gigabits per second over the PCIe bus. It's safely hot swappable, however it's not the most reliable and it dissipates heat poorly. At number 7, if your work routinely involves massive amounts of data, the OWC4M2 may be worth a look, as it has a total of 4 slots in addition to a DisplayPort plug. It supports various RAID setups, however the included software is rather subpar, and you may want to upgrade it. This one runs on DC power and is perfect for high resolution video, but it costs over $300. Coming in at number 6 on our list. Remarkably inexpensive in light of its powerful features, the Glowtrends M2R lets multiple next-gen form factor flash drives team up in a RAID 0 or 1 array. Its top speed is slightly limited by the second-generation Type-C port, but it can still move roughly 10 gigabits per second. It comes in an aluminum alloy shell with an onboard physical RAID switch. However, it's not the most durably constructed. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easybid.com. Go there now and search for NVMe External Enclosures, or simply click beneath this video. At number 5, capable of outpacing nearly everything else on the market, the Netstore NA611TB3 features dual M.2 slots and allows for three different multi-drive operation modes to greatly enhance overall speed, establish data redundancy, or combine multiple disks into one. It includes a built-in cooling fan and is perfect for data-heavy endeavors, but it is among the most expensive options. Halfway up our list at number 4. Thanks to its vented aluminum casing, the Q9 1R32 does a good job of getting rid of the heat that inevitably builds up on an M.2 SSD. Its second-generation USB 3.1 capability can very nearly max out the speed of the fastest flash memory currently available. It's less than half an inch thick and moderately priced. However, it doesn't support AHCI or SATA drives. Nearing the top of our list at number 3. Designed specifically to handle the massive torrents of data that come from 4K or better cameras, the CY docking adapter is the perfect companion for a professional videographer. With the right SSDs, it can write well over a gigabyte per second, though it is pretty expensive. It features 120 watts of pass-through charging and one DisplayPort cartridge connector. It's powered by a DC electrical input. At number 2, if you simply refuse to wait for your Ultrabook to finish copying data, consider the Peng Mikosi, whose integrated Thunderbolt 3 controller enables lightning-fast transfers. Be aware, however, that it's incompatible with systems that have only a standard USB-C port. It boasts a theoretical 4 gigabit maximum bandwidth and a fixed and Intel-certified cable. It's ideal for use with newer Macs. And coming in at number 1 on our list. Offering a theoretical maximum of 10 gigabits per second, the Sabrent EC operates far more quickly than a standard 2.5-inch drive. It's outfitted with a stylish and durable aluminum body, and it only costs about $50. It's straightforward and reliable, with a metal case that helps dissipate heat. It offers an easy plug-and-play installation. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easybid.com. Go there now and search for NVMe External Enclosures, or simply click beneath this video.